Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain maximum likelihood estimation. So before understanding maximum likelihood estimation, first understand what is likelihood. So for understanding this concept, I'm taking a simple example. Let's say we are given some hypothesis. So these hypotheses are Okay, so these are the hypotheses H1, H2, S3, and H4. Okay, and uh, the data we will be getting, those data will be in the range of 1 to 50. Okay, so we need to check uh, for a given data set. Uh, what are the chances of that data set to belong to a particular hypothesis? So let's say we are given a data set of let's say four eight sixty. Now, if we can see here. Uh, this data set is also uh, fulfilling the hypothesis 4 this one also fulfilling hypothesis 2 it is also fulfilling hypothesis 1 uh, but it is not fulfilling hypothesis 3 so the possible option for this one is S2, H1, S2 and H4 now the question is that how we are going to be more specific that which hypothesis uh, will be perfect for this data set. So what we are going to do, we are going to use this concept likelihood. So likelihood uh, actually uh, in simple term it is a chance. So what are the chances of belonging this data set to H1 and how it is computed? It is computed as the multiplication of all the probability. Now let's uh, compute here. So the total number of data points we will be having in the range of 150. So n, the total number of data point can be 50. Okay. Now if we are considering h1, which is power of 2. So in this hypothesis, what kind of data will be available? There will be like 2, 4, 8, 16. 32 and so on so the number of data points in this set will be 1 2 3 4 5 only 5 because the next will be 64 so here are total number of data points 5 so we want to check likelihood for h1 so what is the probability of this point to belong to hypothesis 1 so in hypothesis 1 there can be 5 data points and each data point is having a probability of 1 upon 5. So probability of 4, 1 upon 5. Probability of 8, it is also 1 upon 5. Probability of 16, it is also 1 upon 5. So in case of H1 we got this likelihood. Now let's take s2 so in s2 the data point will be 2 4 6 and 50 so the total number of data points in this hypothesis will be 25 and the probability of each data point will be 1 upon 25 so the probability of 4 will be 1 upon 25 
probability of 8 1 upon 25 probability of 16 1 upon 25 so for h2 okay now we are left with h4 so in h4 the total number of data points will be 50 each data point will be having a probability of 1 upon 50 so for first one it will be 1 upon 50 1 upon 50 1 upon 50 so from these three as we can see this one is having the greatest value okay so and another word we can say is that there for this data set there are higher chances to belong it to the hypothesis one as compared to others or we can say the likelihood for this data set to belong to hypothesis one is higher than these two s3 and h4 so this is a this is the concept for likelihood just a multiplication of the probability okay so what is maximum likelihood estimation So in the previous case, uh, our hypothesis were very simple. We can uh, simply compute the probability of each data points. Now let's say we are having three hypotheses. So it we are taking it as a multi-class multi-class classification problem. These hypotheses are actually a class and uh, we are not having uh, conditions like in the our previous example okay we are assuming that these are following some distribution so instead of uh, this h1 s2 s3 let me consider uh, this distribution example okay so we are saying that the data given data is following a normal distribution or any other distribution or let me take uh, instead of this distribution let me take that if we are given some data in this data set and uh, for each data probability is defined in the form of theta let's say theta upon 2 for x1 theta minus 1 upon 3 and theta upon 4 so this is the probability for x1 x2 and x3 for a particular hypothesis now what mle says that you need to find out theta in such a way that their likelihood will be maximum so from the previous example we know that likelihood is just a multiplication for each of the data points okay uh, to simplify this one load is taken on this one so after taking log this multiplication actually become in the form of summation okay now if we take these probability if you put these probability here so what will be the log for each of this probability so it will be log theta by 2 plus log theta minus 1 by 3 plus log theta by 4 so we want to find out a theta which will give the maximum value for this expression so it actually become a maxima problem and how we solve a maxima problem we uh, perform the differentiation on the expression and then we put a result to the zero equal to zero so if we perform that differentiation what we will get we will get 1 upon theta plus 1 
plus 1 upon 3 1 upon theta minus 1 1 upon 4 1 upon theta and we will equate this expression to 0 and then we will solve it so we will get some value for theta okay so see we are uh, finding out the value of theta by applying MLE maximum likelihood estimation so maximum likelihood estimation it just try to maximize the value of likelihood and what is likelihood likelihood is simply multiplication of the probability of each data point in the given data set okay so this actually method for parameter estimation okay so if we are saying that uh, if we are assuming that this data is following normal distribution and as we know normal distribution is defined by mu and sigma what will be the value of mu and sigma so what we will do we will express probability of each data uh, point in the form of this one sorry it's not really good. Uh, like this one 1 upon 2 pi sigma t power x minus mu 2 sigma square okay so there will be x1 okay then simply we will express probability of x2 also in this manner x3 also this manner we will, we will multiply all, all those three terms and then what we will do uh, we will differentiate that expression with respect to mu and sigma okay so first we will differentiate with respect to mu and then we will differentiate with respect to sigma and then we will put the uh, result equal to zero and then we will find out the value of mu and sigma okay so mle just try to maximize the value of likelihood and what is likelihood you are given some data set you just uh, compute the probability of each of the data point in that data set and you just multiply them so for a given hypothesis if you find that uh, this likelihood is higher it means that data sh that should belongs to that particular hypothesis so this is the concept for mle thank you very much for watching